Hello everybody, this is Alfred Monty, here to show you a new game here. Uh, it came out a few weeks back, but it's been early access for quite a while, Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I am a Dungeons & Dragons as well as an RPG enjoyer, and I just wanted to share my love for the franchise by uh, playing this game on the channel here. Now, I did play a fair amount of this game. I did not beat it or anything. I have not even gotten past the first act. But I've been enjoying this game quite a bit. So even though I've already played a little bit of this experience, there's no reason why I can't share some of this new time with you guys. So I'll go ahead and create a new game. Uh, they buffed the main player character in Explorer mode. Uh, if you're a story driven person this is the recommended mode however uh, if you want more of a balance between story and gameplay that's what balanced is for and I don't feel like doing tactician because I know how the developers of this game Larian play with the harder difficulties and I'm just not ready for that right now so we'll go with balanced and Assist. As soon as this loads, this will give us a cutscene to give us more of a deep dive as to what's going on. So I'm gonna quiet down while the cutscene plays so you can get more context as to what's going on. Okay, it looks like we're in. I'm not gonna necessarily reset tutorials because I've already played a little bit of this game. I know a little bit of what's going on, but I need to check something in the options. Let's see, we do not want to show genitals, and I do not believe we want to show cinematic nudity. Now I know some of y'all might be interested in the romances, but we just can't have any of that on YouTube. So we'll go ahead and get back here. And then we have uh, the origin characters, as well as the Dark Urge. I'm not gonna be playing as the Dark Urge, I'm just gonna be playing as uh, just the custom character. So, I do have experience playing as a dragonborn barbarian. I do have experience playing as an elf rogue, which is uh, pretty typical uh, in terms of like that kind of an archetype. And I did also do the very basic drow warlock. So I want to do something a little bit different. I know Gith Yankee is not particularly popular and not sure necessarily how the Githy Yankee work. Let's see. All skills of the chosen ability. 
Okay, so... Seems like it would be... Very good... With most classes, so I'm just wondering what I would do with the Gith Yankee. Mm. You know what? I feel like doing half work. Half work has a base movement speed. Dark vision's always nice. And also, instead of being down, being reduced to one hit point to stay in the action, will be a little bit more entertaining, I think. And the extra die of weapon damage with crits will also be great, I think. Now, do I want to stick with a barbarian? I have worked Barbarian's pretty traditional. I'm trying to think if I want to do anything else. I feel like throwing things, so I think I'm gonna stick with a half orc Barbarian. And... I think Soldier works. I think Soldier will work as a good background for character here. And I normally stick with the auto-selected stuff here because I plan on getting the ability score improvement, where if you guys aren't familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, uh, you can get ability score improvements to actually improve your stats, and your proficiency bonus up here, which increases things like your damage, your armor class, your health, etc. because of proficiency. Uh, every even number is when the proficiency goes up for most things. I believe that's how that works anyway. No, modifier. Sorry. Uh, modifier for the skill. That's when that goes up every even number. So, whenever I go to 18, instead of the plus 3, it'll go to plus 4. Dexterity is at plus 1. If I go to 14, it'll be plus 2. So, the stat modifiers increase every even number. Okay. Then skill proficiencies. Whenever you deal with something in the game involving a, that particular skill, you will have to roll a dice based on a d20, plus or minus whatever modifier you have. So I think I'm going to stick with these right now because perception's good, animal handling. I know there's a lot of animals you can talk to in this game. Uh, athletics makes sense, and intimidation is fun. I think I plan on going Berserker Barbarian this time around. And I know there's some pretty fun dialogue options whenever you have Intimidation and Berserker together. So we're going to do that. And we're going to edit Appearance. I think I would prefer a male Barbarian this time around. I'm okay with the first face. I think I would like him. I think a dark green is what I feel like right. Yeah, I feel like dark green. We'll do that. I don't really want to randomize. Let's see. Maturity a little bit. I don't really care for freckles. I'll go. Don't really want that at this point. Let's see. Am I vibing with any of these tattoos? Maybe that one. I'll do like a, like a darker red there. I think that'll work out. I don't feel like piercings. I think I'll do like the heterochromia. I'll do one eye slightly different from the other. So I'll do it like that, I think. Just slightly different, that way it's not too jarring. Then we don't need makeup. Uh, like I, said, I don't think we necessarily need makeup. Now let's look at the hair. Now I'm picturing more of a wild man-esque character. So I don't necessarily know if they would have potential true rulery in their hair. They may or they may not. But I'm erring on the side of probably not, so. I'm liking this hair. I'm liking this hair quite a bit. And then... Wait, hold on. Let's see. 
they're all back to black body type two. I have to remake that character. Oh darn. Well, I think that's fine. Let's see. Where to next? Yeah. Let's hope the locals are friendly. Yeah. Back to this dark green here. You know what? I think we'll stick with the. Uh, see, we'll identify as female for this character. I think, because I don't necessarily know how that impacts various dialogue options, and I haven't actually played as a female character in this game, so that'll be interesting. Two, voice two. It's all good. Um, I think that's fine. Then um, I don't think I want facial hair. Come on! I didn't realize you couldn't do as much with the teeth. Yeah, I remember when I used to play Skyrim. There were or characters and you could mess with the jaws and the teeth a little bit more, but this should be fine, I think. Let's see. Uh, okay. Like that. That. Just very, very slight, I think. What the graying intensity looks like, nah, I don't think I want our character here to be gray at all. And I think we should just be able to proceed. Let's see, do we want Relar? Bivar, I think. Wait, but... I kinda want Karlag to be in the party, and I kinda don't want two barbarians. Ah, oh, I'm just realizing that. So, there's another character in the game, Karlak, who is already a barbarian, which that's fine, I just... I think I'll like him in the party this time. So in that case... You know what? I think we're gonna do Sorcerer. And... We'll stay half work, I think. We'll stay half work and we'll have Draconic Bloodline. I think it's what we're gonna do. That's a big pivot from what we're gonna do, but I feel like this is gonna be interesting. I'm a fan of fire. Fire is incredibly useful in this game. Especially just free fire, essentially. And then Friends for potential charisma checks will be nice. Um, light will be nice if I'm swapping characters, I suppose. Mm, actually, the sorcerer things are a little bit more permanent, so I think I'll like Blade Ward. Give myself some durability, at least for the short term. And if I want the Mage Hand, I should swap to Gith Yankee. But I'm, I don't think I want that necessarily. Mm. I'll do Bone Chill. That has enough utility, I think. So, one necromancy, one evocation, 
And shame I want to abjuration. That sounds good to me. Chromatic Orb and Magic Missile give a lot of versatility as the starting spells. I think that's probably a really good pick. Mm. So I think I'll stay with Draconic Bloodline. And I think I would like to have Fire Resistance. So let's look at the various dragons. Do I want Sleep? I don't think so. Do I want Disguise Self? I also don't think so. Burning Hands, I think I'm more of a fan of that. So I'm thinking... Charlatan? What do you see this guy as? Hmm. I think... I'm trying to envision what kind of a character this would be. I like the idea of a sorcerer with a charlatan background who's a half-orc. That sounds pretty... that sounds unique enough to me at least. We have the Charisma, so it looks like on our level up, we have a lot of options here we could do uh, whenever we get to our score improvements, we could do Charisma Con, or we could do Charisma Dex, if we wanted to we could do Con Dexterity just to heavily improve our survivability. And then, hope, persuasion, intimidation, that makes sense, deception makes sense, arcana makes sense, slave of hand makes sense. I like all of those, we already picked our character's appearance. Let me just think about the spells one more time. Always hits. I wish I had more experience with how sorcerers operated. But I'm gonna learn in a little bit here, so that should be fine. With your draconic bloodline. Wait, oh wait, hold my base armor class is 13. That should, I think, get two more armor class because See, I should get one more armor class because of my dexterity. Hmm. Can't move that up any further. Charisma should get that. Should get that? Yeah. So I have an armor class of 14, then potentially 15 when we actually level up. That should be fine. That'll be fine, that'll be fine. I think we'll proceed. And we'll name her Bivar, the half-orc sorcerer with the Traconic Bloodlight. We hope, can we do more with customization then? Hold up, appearance. Cut up the line. Okay. We actually can. Which I would love to do. I'm loving the vibrant reds and oranges with dark green i feel like that contrasts a lot so i'm liking that quite a bit so i'll confirm that i feel like bivar is looking pretty darn sick and then guardian i normally just randomize the appearance like four or five times i see something relatively okay um uh, sure Makes sense to me. Venture forth, and we'll have another cutscene. Well, I'll, I'll shut up for a little bit so we can let this play out.
All right. So as you can see, we're kind of in hell, which is a very drastic development. So we are in a Mind Flayer ship. And it looks like we're about to wake up here in a second or two. And there's a girl, Bivar. Okay. Now we're about to reach our first skill check of the game. This is the pool that thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Right, let's start here. So I have plus one to my intelligence. I need to roll a ten. So if I roll a nine plus one, we should be good. As a good start, good omen. But we do not restart around here yeah, unless the decision will end up killing eye. us. So I know it's nothing that meets the eye, so I'll go ahead and, and go towards the pool and take a closer look. It is now exploded. Let's see, hold on. And then, hold on, I have another thing I should probably do. Show subtitles. If that works, okay. Just making sure all that is there. Again, Onyx, which is good. Chess, Arrow of Acid, Goblet, Fortune Gold. That's a lot of money for the future. So you have a bunch of side actions here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the size of the HUD. Just so we can get used to the many actions we can do later on. So, let's see here. So this is the ritual I always do. I always jump down here take the damage and then we do the restoration so we feel better then open up the sphincter then we're gonna go up to the elevator here I'm not sure about that. From this place, you'll free us. Well, that's a wild this assumption. Brain quivers in expectation. Uh, Please. Not a big fan Before of quivering. They return. Oh. They return. Let's see. The enemy. Why are you freed? So many enemies. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. We'll take a look at them and see what we can do. Let's see, so we're gonna go ahead and do investigation. See what's up. We can't possibly fail two in a row. Hey, okay. Got 19 out of 10. Fantastic. You notice edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. Hmm. So it looks like I'll have advantage on this miss and check. So we'll go ahead and roll that. And we got 19. So hopefully we can wiggle this out. We should the be able to. From the skull. Ooh, there we go. But do you notice an opportunity? You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Subservient brain? Don't mind if I do. It's a 15. I do not see that working out. Oh, we were close, though. Imagine... It's not gonna appreciate that. But, uh, I would like to kill that boy, I think. If I can help it, because I want the XP. Okay. 
you. It's gone. Maybe gone. Let's see here. Most damage I can do 10. There you go, you're not getting away. Oh, we got 10 experience from that, that was worth it. Oh, need to end my turn there, not end. We'll end turn base, that's just shift space, there we go. Okay. So, from using magic missiles, so I could guarantee the kill, I did use a spell slot. So I can optimize a bit by going back to the restoration tape, uh, to the restoration pod, to Let's have a look. Uh, get our spell slots back, but I don't think I'm going to bother doing that. I think what I'd rather do, let's keep on trucking, because we should get another restoration pod in the future. We're gonna have another encounter here in a moment. Okay. Looks like we're not in a good spot to deal with this. Oh, that was very cinematic. This is your end. Okay. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squall. You are no thrall. Vlacketh blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. You know, I can agree with we that line of reasoning. Alright. Okay, so I believe these enemies will be fire resistant, so I'm not gonna be particularly worried. Hold, is there a pot there? Oh, there is a pot there. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna do chromatic. Then, let's see, just the look here. Just out of curiosity, I can just kill these dudes pretty much outright at this point. They don't really do that much damage. I just wanna see if they have resistances, just out of curiosity. I think I'm just, I think I'm just gonna hit everyone at this point. Just go from there. Then, uh, because I'm a sorcerer, I am a wuss, so I'm going to back up. So what I can do, I can Rolo, do that, then we can just do a pommel strike there. And that should just work out. Fine, not a problem. I think with my Zal, can I just cleave? It's last three. We should may not have cleave, so in that case. I, I invoke the attack of opportunity, that's not a problem at all. My Zal, why are you missing? Oh, that's fine. No choice but to keep going. I have higher ground now. Let's kill that boy. It wasn't turn there. Keep things up. Uh, let's go. I am fury. I am dead. Yeah, cool. One day I'll catch a break. And then surprisingly adequate in battle. Now, to the hell. So we'll take a few things here. Uh, I could sell the skull, but that's not something I want to think about at this point in time. Let's see. Something good here, I hope. 
Let's see. Probably should have a crossbow just in case something like silence pops up for my character. Or like some sort of other martial ranged weapon. Anything else? Uh, I think we're good. Yeah. Quick heal to replenish. Ship won't be able to take another dragon attack. We need to get out before it's too late. I'm gonna equip these robes just because I think they look cooler. Okay. Up the mesh we go. Myself should follow close behind. Now, let's go set this up real quick. Myself there. Stayed interesting. Bionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Just then, I'm just gonna push buttons. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw fire at him. Okay, and that worked out great. Um, get as close as possible, and I get as far as possible. Okay. Do acid splash, which does nothing, which is great. There we go. Let's be on my way. Bother with the buckets, I don't think. And I believe I'm gonna edit out the more organizational based gameplay where I'm just sort sorting through everything, inventory or the like. I'm gonna talk to this person that's yelling. Get me out of this damn city. We have no time for stragglers. I disagree, because we can use all the help we can get. Um sorcerer arcana, let's analyze this. Let's go check plus three. A okay. So this through that. Ruins. You feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. Not really. Try that contraption next to the pod. Hurry! Please! Okay. No hope. Uh, I will say I do want this backpack actually. Then I'll come back for. That equipment there. Oh, we gotta go to the turn base because I should speak up. You guys definitely remember earlier. I will not know failure. Oh, that was good damage, Lysel. Good work. Okay. Let's get going. In there, dilute you. I did not. Gold key and a scimitar. Swift as my feet can carry me. How many hosts are these gay infected? I should inspect Dazed here. woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Not as lively as the lady in the other pod. Just keep looting. And that all looks useful. Sigil. Perfect. Perfect. We probably should not press this button, but let's push it just to see what happens. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Oh, we probably did something we were not supposed to do. Change. 
change are. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. I'm wondering... I'm wondering if that'll come back to bite us. Can I inspect that more? The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. Okay, that's probably for the best. Let's free this other character here. You might have recognized her in the character section. Her name is Shadowheart. So let's go ahead. Come on! Let's see. So let's go ahead and do that. The console appears dormant. Uh. Oh, what? The console hums to life, but what is its purpose? I might not have needed that rune. Free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate. Then we can do Arcana to do a closer look just to make sure we're not warping. This character the here. Glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Well, that's good enough for me. Let's go ahead and do it. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades. And another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Interesting. Let's go ahead and try and open it. Say near impossible you to fail, the but you never know. Of the console process your command. And you do it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Interesting. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Shadowheart. I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness. Because you have a gith with you. Oh, she is a racist. Dangerous company. Okay. More that Gith have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Shadowheart. One moment. She seems like an edge lord, and she probably is. Nice looking trinket, but I don't care in particular Sorry. about it right now. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. If you're saying she's right, I should have just left you. What do you mean? Oh, wait, I think this is from the key from earlier. Okay. Necklace. I'm not gonna care about that manuscript there. Here goes nothing. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh. Once inside, do as I say. Probably not. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. Okay. So I'm, I will meta game this mind. a little and bit. In it. Let's see here. So let's see. Up here. Oh, Auto save worked out with no problem. Wits and blades always Then we need to. Give Shadowheart some more apt spells. I would say Bless is pretty good. And Command. You'll see why we need that later on. And I think that's good. Do we... I don't think we'll need a healing word. Anything else that would be particularly helpful. Let's see, and then 
Let's look. Okay, sanctuary. Mm, we have guiding bolt. I guess we just keep inflict wounds. That should be good enough, okay. So what I'll do, shadow heart. That's fine. Never a dull moment. Okay. See a little bit of combat. My player is taking quite a beating. Draw. Connect the nerves of the transponder. We must escape. Now. Do it. We will deal with the Geich after we escape. Oh, he's stunned. Ooh, oh. I forget what stun does. Let me examine that. Nice, so it's just straight frozen. He's already taken quite a beating already, which I am happy about. Let's see, but I would just gotta go for it at this point. The same thing. That works. Concentrate. That's fine. Then which one I wanna do. Okay, so just keep pushing forward. And my goal is to kill Commander Zulk because there's an achievement for it. Which I would really like to get because it does get you a whole ton of experience. Now I right click and pick up normally. I'm slightly out of movement, which is unfortunate. But that's fine. Securing. Then we'll make our way. These days. Well, I think I'll do with haste here. And I don't necessarily think we want ice surface. Do we have acid? We have acid. I believe that actually reduces his armor class, making him easier to hit. Yes. Okay, that is fan freaking tastic. Well, he moved. Okay. I'm gonna ignore y'all and do my thing. Command drop. These work. The drop that is fantastic. Catch my breath. Take the blade. And back up a little bit so I don't get disadvantage on the attacks. That's just on self, right? That is just on itself. I waste a little bit of time, it's fine. Okay. Some resources, that's fine. Then we're just gonna do... Normal attacks. The... Maybe this'll help? I did one damage. Nearly out of sky. It's 
Okay, let's see, hold on. Inventory. We should do tab actually. I'll move Lysel's stuff over. And then I think what I would like to do is just set up. Sometimes a little finicky, but great. Now, let's see, uh, are we all out of blast? No, we're not. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Then just continue attacking. Okay, just a melee attack. You know, it showed right there, but, you know, we're fine, I guess. Fine. Okay. Um, he has resistance, so I'm just gonna do this. Fine. Dazed, easier to hit. Let me see that a little bit more. This is dexterity bonus to their armor class, so we'll see if that helps long term. I'm thinking so. It looks like it is. Ooh, that was a nice crit. So much for peace. Bone shield, uh, no healing. I don't think that was a factor, but it looks like we have two more enemies that are part of the fray, but no worries there. Yeah. Just keep attacking. Um, just keep bone shelling. So. Do actually is we'll cancel the intern. Start going over here. Hurry before they strike. Okay. My faith will protect me. So we'll keep her here. Pull my character up since they're ranged. That should be fine. I don't feel like killing the Cambians right now. Let's see some dashing. Okay. Let's determine like this. Bone shell twenty-eight. I am death. Eliza with the crits. Oh my goodness. What I'm gonna do you haven't attacked yet. So get every character out of the way. Light on my feet. And then you have enough firebolts. Hope that kills. Does not kill. Time to push my luck again. Somewhat unfortunate, but I think we'll make it. They're burning, so they're guaranteed to take one more damage, I think, because they should have fire resistance. 
Sometimes the only way out is through. I am fury. I am death. Looks like that worked out. resistance. Resistance misses. We might lose Shadow Heart here. Oh, or Lysel. Oh, that was a miss. Okay, that's fine ish. We're good because the spike bulb. I don't think they can dodge. However, uh, this is still a little bit worrisome. Okay. Done it. So I'll just go. I think we're good. The Helm's alien transponder. You've made it in time. 
That could have been a little cleaner, but experience is experience. around like a ping pong ball. Just give that a little bit of a pluck and we're hopefully okay. Yeah. Looks like we got a little bit of the, looks like the underdark here. The artwork in this game is just beautiful. I'll say that. This game just always looks fantastic. So, I mean, like, I haven't done much with the Sorcerer abilities yet, but hopefully this level up will give me a little bit more to do. But I'm excited. This is definitely outside of my comfort zone, and I'll let this cutscene play out. Looks like we're still breathing. Okay. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Let's see. Chaos of the crash site confuses the landscape. I'd like to know where I am. Settlement or landmark, and you'll need to do it quickly. I'm the quite far away from sentence. Baldur's Gate. The clock is ticking. You need a cure. Okay, run real quick. Then, uh, oh, it looks like I can start my level up. Health increase, I get class features. I got a bunch of stuff, what the heck. Create spell slot. Spend sorcery points to unlock a spell slot. Or spend a spell slot to unlock sorcery points. This spell here. Probably want a little bit more range slash damage variety. So I think I'll take Ice Knife. Okay. Meta magic, let me look at this. That changes a lot, hold up. Actually, I don't have any concentration spells, so I think Witch Bolt's okay. I'm gonna do twin spell. And I think distance spell. And I could replace something. Actually, hold on, let's look. 
Anything melee oriented? Looking. That's not melee, that's not melee. Yeah. Already have armor class. Not melee, shield. Yeah, I think I'd rather have shield. Oh, let's look at my spells. I think I'm still good. I have a spell that has any damage type, spell that can't miss, shield, basic damage, fire can trip. I think shield gonna be pretty good. But at the same time, I could always learn it later. Yeah, I could always learn it later. I think I'll just do Witch Bolt and go from there. Okay. I can spend a spell slot to gain that. So two sorcery points make a spell slot. A spell slot makes a sorcery point. Okay. I have three level one spell slots. I have a lot of stuff I can do. But you know what? I think we'll be done for this first session. We'll get a closer look at the man magic stuff for the sorcerer as well as wake up Shadowheart over there. Because it looks like she is just uh, chilling on the ground, just uh, fast asleep. So. Hey, I'm happy about how this first session went. Uh, if you guys want more content like this, please uh, leave a like, uh, comment down below. Also, if you want more content like this, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so you can get all of my most recent content. And make sure to check out all of my playlists so you can get the most out of this channel. Everyone have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you. Goodbye.